is our Movers and Shakers segment. And Ekta is here with us. Ekta, um, it's a fresh 52-week low on Devi's laboratory. So the worst, does, you know, the worst was not over for the company in November and December. This is a fresh blow. Yes, absolutely. In fact, I think it's a five-year low for DB's Labs uh, in today's trading session. It has converted uh, the unit two in Vishaka Patnam, Patnam has now converted into an import alert uh, by the USFTA. Now, remember that they had been issued five observations by the USFTA all the way back in November and December. And after that had come out, uh, the street was pretty much confident of the fact, or majority of it was, that there would be a possible escalation either to a warning letter or to an import alert. Now, in terms of uh, EPS estimates, uh, the good thing is that there are some products which have been excluded from this, and that includes gabapentin as well as naproxen. But uh, uh, what the street fears, and I'll come to that in just a second, is that there could be a possible escalation of this particular warning letter, of this particular import alert, in terms of client concentration and client cancellation. So the clients themselves could want to transfer their APIs to other companies, and hence possibly there could be a de-risking from their end. That means that there could be a further downside for DB's labs in terms of the fundamentals. Secondly, other regulators could take cue from the USFTA, could be more stringent towards the plant itself. We've seen it with Health Canada, which we had reported on the same. And additionally, there could be other regulators in the US and UK as well. Plus, the USFTA could be more stringent on unit one. Um, so these are a couple of risks and uncertainties that the street is working with. In terms of a worst case scenario without client cancellations, uh, the street is working with an EPS of around 45 rupees with this import alert, which would turn out to be around 14 times at around uh, uh, 650 odd rupees that it's trading at. Historically, any company in such a scenario has traded at around 14 to 15 times.